Hello everybody, it's me, Zombie Killer for you, and this is for Zonko, and I'm doing some weird exciting experiment. The other ones, I skipped through because I didn't have direct materials yet, but this one I do because they provide everything for you, so I decided to do it, and it is the Bouncy Glow Ball. So we're going to make a Bouncy Glow Ball with these materials right here. I got other materials right there, but these are the ones we're going to be using, and so let's go ahead. That's what we're doing. Measure out glow powder and mix it right in the bag of polymer. Set aside. Okay, so I'm going to need two hints for this one. So what I'm going to do is pause the video, measure a little bit of this glow powder, and put it into this one. I chose blue because I think blue is going to glow better than the red one. The reason I'm wearing glows is so, well, that's something different. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to measure out some a little bit of glow in the dark part, but I do need to use a decent amount to actually glow. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I did use a little bit of the glow powder to put it in here. As you can see, there's a little bit of stuff in there. They said to use three scoots of glow powder, which all that is is that little spoon right there. Just three little scoots of that. I put way too much in there because I just now saw that. So what's next? Uh, fill beaker with water to either half a cup or one twenty-five meter mark. Uh, do y'all see a mark on here? I do not see a mark on here. And that's the only other beaker we got, cause this one is fit in it, but later on it tells us to put this in here, but yeah, well, well, that's how we guess we're just gonna use this one. It says go full cup, which, you know what? Close. Fuck it, why not? Okay, carefully, carefully. There we go, okay, now what? Snap together the two ball pole pieces. Ball mode. Mm, don't fall. I have to. Uh huh. Crap, crap, okay. I am right handed. Why am I holding this with my. Okay. There we go. Come on. Come on, one handed, come on. No. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm I'm just gonna do that off the camera. It's not that I couldn't do it, it's just because the fucking gloves, I use it both hands. It still took me a little bit to do this. Okay. It was the gloves fault. Okay, so then we're doing the gloves. What's next? Using foam, pull polymer in through the top into the top. Tap it down, the entire bag of powders in the mold. Keep tapping until all the powder is packed in. I'm seeing if that's the stand for it. Right? Nope. Okay, up at that. Okay, so now we're just gonna. Ah! Do it! Okay, okay. Get in. Oh god, now it's broken. Oh god, oh god. Give me a second. Okay, as I was playing right now, I just realized this is the beaker and it says the 125 mark, which I believe is on the other side. Nope. Uh, yeah, you see, it's the 125 mark right there. And I thought that was a knot, and then I realized the ball can just go right on top of that and it'll float right there. But as you get to the bottom, it's smaller, but yeah, that's right. I still haven't put the shit in yet, but I will, and we're gonna see what happens. Oh, okay, sorry for that thing because I just filled it up all the way. Now, using the now using the phone, pull polymer through the top and tap it as the entire bag of powders in the mold. Keep tapping until all the powder is packed in. Done. Stock mold in a beaker of water so the top of mold lands up at the top of water. Wait five minutes and remove from water and let mold sit for another five minutes. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh shit. 
There she There we go. Okay. So we're going to wait about five minutes in that one. Okay. So now we're just going to look at the notes. Store the Globo in plastic bag. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so while we're waiting on this, we're going to read what's glowing on. Glacity is, what hap is what's happening. My ball balances because it is elastic. This means that it can change shape when you squish or stretch it, but it returns the original shape once stress deformed it is removed, like stretching a rubber band. When you throw the ball on the ground, it is deformed, but when it recovers, bring it back into shape that causes the bounce. The higher it bounce, the more elastic it is. Oh, that's cool. Ingredients, three scoops of glue powder, 10 grams, packet, bouncy ball, polymer, which I do got water, equipment, mix and measure, scoop, beaker, bouncy ball mode, funnel, and black light activator, which is this, this little thing is, this little thing is a black light, just to show you, let me turn off the lights, and look, there's my monkey in battle arena, um, See? Black light. Oh god, he's scary at night. And then, see? So there's just a little black light. <laughs> now I can't see. Uh-oh. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna come back in five minutes. We're gonna take it out. And then another five minutes. <laughs> Alright. Okay, it has been five minutes. It has been five minutes since it's been in here. Again? Oh, okay. Come on, Bella. It is cooler in there now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is cooler in here. Bye, Bella. Bye, Bella, I'm gonna have to shut the door. I'm doing something here. Okay. That was awkward, so now it's time for us to take it out. Wait, what? Now remove from water, let mold sit for another five minutes. Okay, so, so I just take the entire plastic thing out. Uh, stick mold in beaker of water. So top of mold lines out with the top of water. Wait five minutes and remove water and let mold sit for another five minutes. Okay. So what we're gonna do here. Let, let it do that and then we're gonna do Well that little up. Okay. So the next is to wait five more minutes. And then we should be good to go, right? Wait five minutes and remove water and let it set mold for another five minutes. Move ball and smooth out the place where the mold joined. Your glow ball would be sticky at first, but boy does it bounce. Okay, so it should work. So we should wait another five minutes. Uh, I really hope it works, and I hope it glows as well. I think I I hope I put enough glow stuff in there to make it glow. Okay, it's been a little bit over five minutes, so what's the next thing? Remove ball. Okay, so maybe I can do this with one hand. I'm getting something. Give me one second. Okay, I got it. It is sticky. It is sticky to the touch. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so I got it out, and this is the ball. So let me just take this little... Oh, so, oh yeah, it's just... Ticky! Oh, I'm gonna have to wash my hands out of this. Ugh. So let's uh, let's see if it bounces. It's still sticky, as you can tell. That is not. That's not. That's not. Oh, oh, oh dear. Hey, it bounces a little bit, but I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. I'm gonna wash my hands, and we can come back after another five minutes and let it dry. Okay. I have cleaned up the place. It has been about eight minutes, so it's kind of sticky at this little little part. Rather than that, it's good to go. So let me turn on my flights. Whoa! Wow, it actually worked. There's the drawer down here. Yep. Okay, so let's go check it out. 
All right, okay. Since, oh, I gotta get it. It bounces. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Does it glow? Now to make sure it doesn't bounce off anywhere or anything. Three, two, one. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. It glows, it glows, okay. So now to make sure this little baby right here is a UV light. If it came with it, that is not the box, that's just from my experiment. I think you got the box outside the bathroom here. But we're gonna charge this baby up and we're gonna see. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the UV charge. And then you see you got the glow in the dark stuff right there. But it's in half that charged up. You know what? Let's do it with the UV light. As you can see, it is glowing more than this. So let's just give it all angles. Kids, you can try this at home, but make sure you have adult supervision because this could be deadly, dangerous, and fatal. Now look at it. Now that is glowing. That is definitely going more than this. Now it's glowing more. The booklet did not say for you to do that. That is just common knowledge, at least for me. That UV will actually make it glow. Like this glow in the dark stuff will glow at artificial light, which is what like night bulbs is and stuff, yellow light. But if you have a sun actually glowing on it, which causes UV rays to hit it, it will make it glow even more. But this is what. And this does, it brings off the same UVs as the sun, at least a little bit, to make it even glow even more. <laughs> and that is the science for this little kid. So thank you for watching, this is Zonko, and I'm Zonkill for you, for the company Zonko. And that was glowing, and I believe I turned the paper down. This is other experiments. Why is it so bright? Okay, why is it so bright all of a sudden? There we go. That's even better. And this is what we've done. Let me focus on it for some reason. There we go. I bent the page, meaning we've done it. So, yeah, this is going to be in the chemistry playlist in Zonko. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.